IF-150 Interferential General Operation. The patient leads should always be checked for proper connection and damage or deterioration prior to treatment. Loose connections or damaged cables can cause low stimulation output, no stimulation output, or sudden irregular increases in output, resulting in possible discomfort to the patient. The treatment site and electrodes should be cleaned and properly prepared prior to application of electrical stimulation to the patient. We recommend that you use Amrex conductance gel or Flextrode conductance spray and cloth covers to thoroughly moisten the treatment site and electrode surface prior to every treatment. In order to operate the IF-150, you must first connect the power cord to the AC receptacle on the back of the unit and insert the power cord plug into a properly grounded AC receptacle. Reduce the intensity controls to the zero reset positions, enabling the audible clicks. The IF-150 is equipped with an intensity reset circuit feature. This feature prevents the practitioner from applying one patient's intensity setting to another patient. Depress the power control. The generator will self-test and all indicators will illuminate. An audible signal will be emitted and the generator will default to factory settings of quad-polar interferential modality, a power timer display of 15 minutes, a frequency display of 80 hertz, a preset sweep frequency range for pain of 80 to 150 hertz, and intensity displays of 0 milliamps. If the intensity controls are not in the zero reset position, the generator will emit a sequence of audible signals and the reset intensity's indicator light will flash. Both intensity controls must be returned to the zero reset position, enabling the audible clicks to return to factory default settings. Press the constant sweep control to select constant mode or sweep mode. The constant or sweep mode indicator light will illuminate. The constant sweep control selection can be changed any time during treatment. To avoid possible patient discomfort, reduce the intensity controls to the zero reset positions, enabling the audible clicks before changing the constant sweep control selection. Press the select control to select the desired constant beat frequency or sweep beat frequency range. The selected beat frequency indicator light will illuminate and the frequency display will indicate the selection. The constant beat frequency or the sweep beat frequency range can be changed any time during treatment. However, to avoid possible patient discomfort, reduce the intensity controls to the zero reset position, enabling the audible clicks before changing the constant beat frequency or sweep beat frequency range. Prepare the pad electrodes and apply them to the patient. Quadpolar interferential requires the use of four pad electrodes. The pad electrodes may be held in place by means of retention straps or weight bags. Set the treatment duration using the time controls. To adjust in one minute increments, press and release the time control. For rapid adjustment, press and hold the time control until the desired treatment duration setting is reached. The treatment duration will be indicated on the power timer display. Treatment duration may be reduced or increased during the treatment period. Press the start timer control to activate the treatment timer. A flashing decimal point on the power timer display indicates timer countdown in one minute increments. Press the left side of the current monitor channel selection control. The current monitor indicator light for channel 1 will illuminate. The current monitor will display the output for channel 1. Slowly increase the intensity control for channel 1 to the desired output level. The current monitor will indicate the output intensity selected for channel 1. The output level for channel 2 must not vary more than plus or minus 20% from the output level of channel 1. Press the right side of the current monitor channel selection control. The current monitor indicator light for channel 2 will illuminate. The current monitor will display the output for channel 2. Slowly increase the intensity control for channel 2 to the desired output level. The current monitor will indicate the output intensity selected for channel 2. The output level for channel 2 must not vary more than plus or minus 20% from the output level of channel 1. 
When treatment is completed, stimulator output will be discontinued immediately. The treatment duration reduces to zero as indicated on the power timer display. The reset intensity's indicator light flashes, and the generator emits an audible signal. The intensity controls must be returned to the zero reset positions, enabling the audible clicks, which will turn off the reset intensity's indicator light and the audible signal. The treatment time will default to the factory setting.